Paths is a built-in Zapier tool that lets you build one Zap with multiple outcomes. Think of it a bit like a choose your own adventure, but for automation. Paths use what we call conditional logic. If A happens, then do X. But if B happens, do Y instead. It sounds kind of like a filter step, doesn't it? And just like in a filter step, you also set up criteria in paths and decide which actions should occur when those rules are met. The difference between paths and filters is that a filter step has only one trail of information it acts on. The rest of it is filtered out. However, paths have multiple trails of information they can act on. Data filtered out of A can be used in B to run a different action if it meets the criteria. Let's say you host a webinar and afterward, you send attendees a Google Forms survey. You want to customize three different types of follow-up emails for positive, neutral, and negative survey responses. Paths allow you to add a different action for each of these outcomes. For example, you decide positive scores between 8 and 10 will trigger a follow-up email asking if they'd like to submit a testimonial. That would be path A. For neutral scores between 5 and 7, your follow-up email may ask for feedback on how you can improve. That's path B. And the list can go on. Setting up paths in the Zap Editor is similar to a filter step. You can select a specific field and decide the conditional logic you want to use, such as whether that field contains specific text. But instead of giving just one set of instructions like you would for a filter, you're giving multiple sets of marching orders for each path. And each path can use a different app for the next step if you'd like. A few things to note about paths. Your Zap must have a trigger first before you can use it. Paths are only available on specific Zapier plans. And if you use paths, it must be the final step of your zap. When your zap has to make a choice, try paths. And we'll see you in the next lesson.